What is going on, guys? I see Caress here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Faster Than Light. Now, some of you guys have been asking me, Yo, I see, why, why are you not using Facecam these days? Well, my webcam is absolutely shite, basically. Uh, unfortunately, it does randomly switch off. I've got it right here, if you listen. You hear that rattling? Yeah. It, it, it's kind of broken, so. Fingers crossed I'll be able to get a new one relatively soon. That'll be... Eh... Yeah, I'll be soon. <laughs> anyway, on the previous episode, we fought our way through the first sector and we find ourselves 135 caps up, a whole bunch of fuel. We got enough stuff to last us in NG Homeworld. So, fingers crossed, we can pick ourselves up a nice, beautiful, pretty NG. So, we've already got an NG here. Uh, it's relatively good for like repairing and such, but it's not very good with combat. I really need to get, and I believe they're called Zoltans, they add an additional power slot to your ship. Like, an addition, like it takes, yeah, it takes away a power slot from one of these, so that'll turn yellow, and I get a spare power slot, so I can actually upgrade that. You follow the distress beacon, yeah, fucking hell. I really need to work on talking. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Hail them to offer assistance. They respond, HELP! Our shields are down, we won't last long! Well, we'll shield them. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits in the process. They offer some scrap and fuel they were mining out the asteroid as thanks. Nice! I think that's worth one damage. Oh god, oh wait, whoa, okay. So, rather than run in there and risk losing crew members, I'm just going to vent. That way the fire will die, and hopefully I will just transfer them in there real quick so that the fire doesn't... Make his way through there. Perfect! Okay, and we'll switch the O2 back on. So venting kills fires faster than people can. The only problem is if the fire was in the shield room, for example, I wouldn't be able to walk out of there because then it would destroy the shield. I would just have to take everyone and move them in there and make sure their stations are saved. Alright! We now have 163! Not too bad. So we're going to go up here and then we'll swap over to the store. I just want to see what's up here. <coughs> I get a feeling it'll probably be like an enemy ship or some such. An NG ship in the vicinity is seeing you jump in arm to the teeth, immediately broadcast its surrender. Subject, goal, wealth, NG modification, survival, transfer of goods of acceptable. Uh, explain that you're friendly. I mean, we're, we're not going to steal their stuff. The NG seem relieved and eager to get underway the self without saying goodbye. I'm not, I'm not going to take their stuff. I'm a nice guy. So that's the rebel advance slowly closing in. So we're going to swap over to the store and actually buy some things, sell some things, and upgrade our ship. Your scrap, ours, our weapons for you. You're just about to raise your shield when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. Hmm, nice. So first of all, we're gonna sell this breach. We can't use that, and we can't use those. So, ah, the Zoltan. I said I needed one of them. Let's fix all first, and we'll. Oh shit! I did not mean. Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Okay, so what have they got? They've got ooh, Pike Beam. That's really good. That is really good. Uh, but it's quite a long charge time. Drone control. Nah, cloaking. Uh, I really want the Zoltan. Because if I buy the Zoltan, then I can upgrade my ship rather than spending all my money here. So I'll buy the Zoltan. Nice. Alright, we'll put him in shields. And we'll put him on cameras, actually. So you see how the shields have now got that. And we've got an extra bar power to put wherever we wanted. So let's save the, save the stations. Thank you. And let's upgrade. Now, one of the main things we need to upgrade is our shields. So we'll go ahead and pump two onto that and two onto that straight away. So now we have two bars of shields. That's really good. And I think the rest of it... I think the rest of it we shall... Hmm... I think... I think... We will save it. Yeah, saving it would be the smartest thing to do at this point. Unless we want to buy another dude. No. We need more missiles. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go. <coughs> so we have enough money for any emergency fuel in case we need it. That's good. When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you the schematic for a drone. Nice. Well then. That's going to be really useful. <laughs> uh, we can sell that on for about 17 scrap later on. So, You receive a distress call from a nearby NG ship. Assistance requested. Danger present. Imminent destruction. Respond to the call. You approach to find a mantis ship assaulting a small NG... That ah, music. Sorry, I love the music. Assaulting a small NG space station. You prepare for a fight. 
Let's do this! So we got more shields now, and they're carrying burst lasers. So we'll be able to stop two levels of that. So what we're gonna do? Oh god. Shit. That's not good. Um alright, we're gonna swap him into there. Switch off O2, and we're gonna vent all of this. The reason why we're venting is because Ah crap, they went in there. Okay. That is not good at all. We'll swap him out. Um alright. Go ahead and vent this. Now the reason why we're venting like this is we really cannot afford to get killed by that mantis. And that mantis, mantis are the strongest guys in the galaxy. So we'll let him hit that and we'll hit our shields with a burst laser. Yeah, it's a bit like stop it now. The reason why we're doing it that way is we're trying to stop their burst laser from actually firing. Wait, he just opened? Shit, okay, uh, that's not good. You two go in there. Uh, we need to, okay, we'll close all the doors. And we'll reactivate our O2. Swap him out in a second. Perfect. Alright, we'll get you to hit their teleporter before they teleport him back out. And we'll get that guy in there. And then we'll swap him back in. You see, it does take quite a lot of micromanaging to handle some of these sometimes. Uh, station hails your gratitude. Expected probability of defeat without assistance 86.2%. Request suitable reward. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> it's about understood reestablishment of Federation highs and port. Transmitting hidden base squad. Hidden base. Oh, oh shit! I didn't even. I've, I've never seen that before, and I've played quite a lot of this game. Wow. Well, that's going to be very useful. Hidden base. I wonder what that's going to be about. Hmm. All right, everyone's back at their stations. Everything's all good. We got 63 scrap now. What is this? A teleporting bomb ignores shields. Requires a missile. Possible fire. Crew damage 30. System damage 2. The system damage is going to be really useful. What we're going to do? We're going to upgrade. All right, we're actually going to use this because that's going to be quite useful for teleporting past shields and hitting their shields or other such things. Okay. So we're going to hop to here. Because then we'll reveal all that. We can always jump up there after we, you know, look over here. Because if we hop here, we're only revealing a couple locations. But if we hop to there, we're revealing more. You always got to reveal. You never know what you'll find. You arrive in a sector and you no thank you. I don't need drone schematics. I'm, I'm really interested to know what this secret base is. Federation scum! We waited a long time for this. Really? Well, I got a small bomb now. See? Oh, come on! What's with all the teleporters? Okay, we're gonna hit his shields, and then we'll hit his weapons, and then we'll hit his teleporter. That will be relatively expensive in the way of, uh... Wait, why am I sending him there? That will be relatively expensive in the way of missiles, but... Eh, it'll be worth it. Alright, incoming! Oh, he hit my engines. Okay. So, we'll take off the S-bomb, and we'll leave those two on their current targets. Get them in there. Right, cool. That should annihilate everything. No, we're not accepting your surrender. We want all your stuff. Why did I switch that off? <laughs> I could have finished him off with that. Okay, you hit his shields. We're not letting him get his shields up. Just in case, like, two of them miss, it was always good to hit the shields. Oh, man! Heavy ion! Hell yeah! See, that's why I always destroy them. Like, I know it's not a very nice thing to do, but it always seems to give you more stuff. And the fact that I just got a heavy ion cannon, which, uh, where is it? There he is. Uh, basically, what it does is it will hit, see they have two layers of shields, and you hit it with a heavy ion, it will take down two layers of shields and disable them for a while. You know, I mean, that's very good. Damn. All right, let's go to that quest. And we're going to have to skip the store this sector, because we won't have enough time to get to it, I don't think. No. You find the planet at the indicated coordinates. Your initial scans show the planet to be barren and devoid of life. But you get a prompt reply when you broadcast at the Federation frequencies. Hello! Nice to see friends. We'll bring you up some supplies. Combat drone. That's a good 17 scrap right there. Wait. That was the hidden base. I'm disappointed. Uh, hmm. I really think they'll be at the exit by the time we skip to there, then there, and there. So we're just gonna go... 
We'll just go the other way, okay? I, I don't want to risk getting caught by the Federation. We're not strong enough at this point. Uh, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Attack! Murder everything! Okay, so we're gonna Artemis. He's got a... I don't think he can even breach my shields. <laughs> Alright, let me just do that. Oh, shit, that's a combat mark too. Or is that mark one? I think that's a mark one. Yeah, he's not going to be able to do much damage, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out that. Actually, no, we're not even going to waste that. Take out that. He can't do any damage to me now. I mean, the, the combat mark drone, unless it goes back and forth there several times, it's not going to do any damage to me, so it's not exactly difficult. I'm going to go ahead and get him healed up. Right. Then we'll hit his shields. That way he can't, you know. See, that? he's now rendered useless. Like, he can't do anything to me. Alright, that, I, I didn't even take out his shield, so I'm sorely disappointed in you, ship. God damn it. Come on. What, what is my weapons guy, anyway? He's, a uh, Varnas. Eh, he's getting there. He's getting there. You're healed now. Get back in there. Right. So we're gonna take out his hull. Oh. Wait. It has no crew. How did it fix that? I was totally unaware that they could repair themselves. Well, then. Investigate the station. The station was apparently designed- Oh my god! <laughs> Those are like 70 scrap! Only 35 to sell, but- ah, I might buy a drone system just so I can use that. Because it will shoot down lasers and missiles! Oh my god! Oh my god! Decisions, decisions. What I am going to do is because I've got enough. I'm going to upgrade that one more time. I'm going to get rid of that and I'll switch on the heavy ion instead. It's going to be very, very useful. Trust me. So, one more jump then this episode's over. Wow, this record's quick. <laughs> I like this game. Uh, you've arrived at Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drives charge, you can jump to the next sector. There's a black market hub here. You receive a message. These are dangerous times. Your extra military grade explosives will gladly pay you for them. Now, this isn't worth it. Because, you know, I mean, missiles cost like six each. And these guys offering three. So, we're gonna ignore them. Thank you kindly, but no. Yeah, see, we wouldn't have had the time. We would have been there trying to jump to there and we would have been caught. Ah, well. Not went fairly well. So, now we have the choice of going to the civilian sector, the Uncharted Nebula. Now, the Nebula would be quite useful for getting slugs, which are like mental, telepathic things, but I really want to keep open going to both of these, because for all you know, they could be rock home worlds, which are very, very useful, and this could be Mantis, which is very, very dangerous. So, we're going to jump up to the civilian sector. Uh, we've gone, we're going from uh, NG to civilian, and then I think we'll go up the Nebula. Or what we could do is we could go civilian. Depending what that is, we could jump up to there, hit the other, that would probably be Zoltan, and then jump back down into a nebula to pick up Slug, and then take our pick out of those two. Yeah. Let's go. So, let's see what the message is. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Well then, that was a very good episode. We repaired up our ship, we got a new crew member, and we got brand new weapons! And a defense drone, Mark II, which is incredibly rare. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save and quit. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, post a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see next time, and I'll catch you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye Good time. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves in more trouble. If that's it, all Our hope is that their brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter.